Hello, I'm Kathleen Hall. I'm CEO of the Mindful Living Network. Hi, I'm Kendrick. We're cooking for love. So here we are, and the kitchen smells so yummy again. Oh. So I know that um, this is something that was requested by several people. It was. Uh, here at the Mindful Living Network, we it had was. several people request this. And I got my hair done last week, and my hair colorist was very excited about somebody coming in. Mm -hmm. I said, why are you so excited about this woman? And he and Marissa were just, she makes the best Christmas crack. And I like, went, what? are you joking? Well, and he said, no, it's called Christmas crack. And he said, I'm telling you, he said, people make their appointments around the day she comes in and all the salon people around, they find out, he said, we have to hide it in the car and lock the car door. <laughs> so anyway, we asked him for the recipe. We all came back here. They all were familiar with it. Absolutely love it. And it was a all thumbs up. Kendrick, please try to make this for us. So it wasn't the love of her life. But she said, go forward, soldiers. Yes. And she said, I will make this for my beloved That's right. people here. So, so she's making here we Christmas are. crack. That's right. Well, it's, it is really fun. All, all of our millennial friends told us about it and got us excited about it because we wanted to be relevant and we wanted to learn what was the latest. So it's very chocolate. It's a uh, very praline like, almost like a Heath bar. Um, you can have it with pecans or with without. Uh, we decided to go ahead and accelerate, so in essence of time. Um, but um, here's kind of the end result of what it looks like. And it starts with saltine crackers, which gives you a nice base. It actually is a way to make a dessert very quickly. However, there are three steps and you need to have some time to be mindful and think about these steps. It does in involve boiling, like taking to a candy stage, uh, brown sugar and butter. And so since you're doing that, you want to make sure your children are away if you have children or, you know, you're really th thoughtful. But you start out with your saltines and you lay them out like this. And then you're going to bring to a boil your brown sugar and your butter. And once that is boiling, then uh, you're going to paint uh, or pour or paint that onto your saltines. And then you're going to bake that for five minutes at 400. You bring them out. And then you're going to melt your chocolate, and then you're going to just paint that on top, bake that for another one minute, and then you're going to just top with some little pecans, and that is it. So it really is very simple. One other thing is you want to paint it very thinly. So uh, you refrigerate this for two hours, and after that, you should be able to break it apart. But again, uh, you know, be flexible. You know, I made some earlier the first time I made it, and I kind of made these very thick. I made them more praline-like, so mine were thick, so I didn't want to break mine apart. These, the second time I made them, I made them very thin, so I will probably break these apart. But have fun with it. Doesn't it make taste it kind of like want. a toffee crunch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, is how I would describe yes, it. Yes, absolutely. So it's more praline-like. And what they say is, um, like everybody I know, once you start it, you can't stop. Oh, yeah, they're really good. They're, they're really, tasty. really good. It'd be tasty. fun to make and take somewhere and and everything and enjoy. So that's that's it. Gotcha. So, so there we have it. So thank you so much for joining us, and the recipe will be on the website. So thank you. Bon appétit. And I am Kathleen Hall here at the Mindful Living Network, and I am chowing down. Please feel <laughs> free to come to mindfullivingnetwork.com. You can find Kendrick's recipe for this so and good. other amazing recipes. And we have a lot of other things going on there, too. So join us and, and sign up for our newsletter and let us hear from you. Again, Kathleen Hall. Take care. Bye-bye.